According to the World Health Organization, the biggest challenge confronting Egypt and the Middle East at large is not communicable diseases, but what we refer to as non-communicable diseases. As it turns out, most of these diseases are what we refer to as sporadic. But genes, nevertheless, are very important because they determine how we interact with our environment. A human genome project and a reference genome for Egypt, for example, is very important because it helps us identify genetic risk factors that may predispose a person to that disease. The Human Genome Project started with the European ancestors. Those identified the norms for European, for Western world. However, when we started trying to identify genes responsible for disease in Egyptian or Middle Eastern, we found out that the analysis process is limited. Why? Because we don't have a reference or norm for Egyptians. The research output, which we mentioned as a reference genome, is a trial to understand the normal genetic architecture of Egyptian. It gives us some clues on what are the common genes in Egyptians, what are the rare variants, what are the possible genes that can lead to the disease. It is the most important step in precision medicine, which is to classify patients into different categories. And according to each genetic category of a disease, we can develop individual treatment. So here at the Institute of Global Health and Human Ecology at the American University in Cairo, what we are actually interested in is taking the genomic profile, coupling it with that environmental profile, as well as the type of work that's done in this laboratory where we try to develop very specific and very sensitive diagnostic markers. Now in Egypt, what we need to know is the genetic makeup of each patient. Suppose, for example, we are going to purchase by millions of dollars therapeutic protocols for LARC2, Parkinson's disease, and we discover that our patients do not carry such a mutation. So we will lose money, we will lose time, we will lose the fight against Parkinson's disease. We need first to identify the types of our patients in order to start focusing on their specific traits. I'm working with Dr. Mohamed Salama in a new project. We are testing the detoxification genes that are responsible for detoxifying uh, some harms like the exposure, the exposure to pesticides, which means that we are seeing uh, what are the differences between the gene expression in the normal individuals and what happens in the Parkinson's patients. My thesis project is about the association between uh, Parkinson's disease and human gut microbiota in an Egyptian population. We are looking for like micro biomarkers that tell us more about the, the, um, the reasons why uh, Egyptian people might develop Parkinson's disease. So imagine a time where we can actually custom design the diagnosis, the therapy, and even the prevention of disease based on the person's genomic profile. That is the promise of the human reference genome.